right, so in this video, uh, I just wanna give you a few of the key observations to make. Uh, so you've made your observations now, uh, and whatever, as long as it's something that you saw in here, that is fine. But what we're going to look at now are just some of the ones that do turn out to be maybe the most, some of the more significant ones. Uh, all right, so first off, the, we've got this this angelic figure. Uh, some people even will say that she's an angel um, when they're making their observations. Uh, not necessarily really, um, but she does, she is a woman that is kind of floating across the, the, the landscape and she is central to this painting. Uh, and so that's obviously one. Uh, you may observe that she has a book in her hand and she has like rope or some kind of line or cord in her hands as well. Uh, we see on the left, this is kind of another big picture thing. We see on the left, it's darker. The sky is darker. The ground is darker. It's just a darker side. The, the, everything on the left is dark. On the right over here, we see that it's light, okay? And it's kind of divided by her. In front of her is dark, behind her is light. Now, so those are observations. Over here, we see Native Americans. We see buffalo. We see a, a bear. We see uh, somebody that looks like a hunter. And a, you know, over here we've got maybe a miner and, and, and just a group of men traveling together. Behind them, we've got uh, somebody that's behind a plow. So we've got a oxen and plow. We've got a stagecoach. Uh, now, no, this is a, a, a Constoga wagon, and over here, the red stagecoach. Many of you associate it with Wells Fargo. That's because Wells Fargo started back then at this time. We've got a train. We've got another train. Uh, so those are many things that you might have noticed. Uh, you might notice the, the, horse, the lone horseman here, uh, right there. Uh, and we've just got a lot of different things. We've got rugged mountains here. We've got a uh, river uh, and maybe even ocean. We've got the sun way over here. You can see me kind of struggling to point the right direction to everything. And so we've got uh, all these different observations that you could, have, that you could make um, about this image. The next step is what do these mean? What do you, what do you think, that, what is the message of this painting? Uh, we've talked about what Manifest Destiny is. We've talked about that this painting is, is a representation of Manifest Destiny. Well, how are they representing that? And that's what we're gonna get into in the next video. And on your questions, uh, when you answer it, I want you to answer and think, explain what some of these different uh, things may mean.